Hello and welcome to another Quarantine Tips with Teresa. How are you? How are you feeling? Are you getting enough rest? Are you sleeping? I know me, I used to be a grand champion sleeper and now not so much. I feel like I'm worried, I've got stress, I'm concerned about the future, I'm thinking about all these new ideas and plans for how to make money and support the family. It's keeping me up at night. That and the bird who sits outside our window and sounds like he's auditioning to be the voice of a car alarm, like wee, yippee, yippee, boo, brr, brr, like all night. <sighs> it's a good time to remember that a lack of sleep can be very detrimental to our health. Bad sleep patterns can uh, affect our brain function. It can cause very serious health issues. Uh, it can affect our hormones. It can even make us gain weight. Wait, so they're saying that a lack of sleep can make us gain weight. So by that standard, I can just take a nap and work off all those donuts. No. No. <sighs> Fine. It's a shame it's not that easy. It is, however, scientifically proven that good sleep habits can improve your energy and increase your exercise performance. I don't even feel like a donut anymore. More like a bagel. Oh, thank goodness. It's not just exercise that can help you with your sleep. There's actually so many things that you can add to your daily routine that will really help. And here's just a, a few friendly reminders. Tip one, get plenty of bright sunlight during the day. Vitamin D3, so good for energy levels during the day, so great to help you sleep at night. But if you can't do that because you work a graveyard shift or you just don't have access to the outdoors during daylight hours, then why not invest in an artificial bright light bulb or a device? Google it, you'll find a bunch because bright light is good. And blue light is bad. I was having some pretty bad troubles with my eyes before I got these blue light blocking glasses. Again, Google it, Amazon, 20 bucks, best thing I ever did. And you can also do uh, blue light blocking apps for your laptop or your computer, and they're available for your smartphone as well. I can do so much more work now. <sighs> if only I had some more coffee. And at five cups a day, I shouldn't have any trouble sleeping tonight, right, right? Wrong. Did you know we're only really supposed to have one cup of coffee a day? Because caffeine can stay in our bloodstreams for up to six hours. Six hours? Where are these people getting their coffee from? I want some. But you know, you can have vitamins, that's no trouble. Uh, melatonin is a great natural sleep hormone that tells your brain it's time to go bye-bye. Other great vitamins you can try are ginkgo biloba, there's glycine, valerian root, magnesium, L-theanine, lavender, just to name a few. <sighs> no coffee, okay? Six hours before bed. Don't forget to brush your teeth. I sounded just like my mother. Another piece of great advice that I choose to ignore more often than I should is to not watch television for up to two hours before I go to bed. Remember, no blue light. Boring. Lastly, my most powerful tips for deep sleep and relaxation meditation, deep breathing. When you get into bed, read a good book. That'll drift you off. There's a terrific app called Insight Timer. It's got nature sounds and guided meditations for sleep. Awesome, awesome app. You can also Google binaural beats, really uh, great sounds that uh, mimic and vibrate with your actual brain waves and will tell your brain to drop down into sleep. I also have a really new favorite of mine. Uh, this is called uh, Sync Tuition. It's an awesome new app. It combines binaural beats and ASMR and nature sounds, and it puts you in this 3D kind of heaven. So instead of just uh, you know drifting off to sleep, you can kind of just drift off to heaven in a good way. So stay well, stay healthy. Oh, here's Ruby. And um, I hope you all sleep well. Night night. Come here, baby. Bye-bye.